Hey everyone, Grimer here coming at you with a Valheim tutorial. Okay, so recently I put out a poll on my channel asking if uh, people wanted to see how to, like a tutorial on how to build that, uh, that nether, or not the nether, Jesus, this is in Minecraft, that, uh, <laughs> that portal, uh, hub that I built on Valheim Online. And a lot of people said yes. Okay, so step one, go cut, uh, go cut down a bunch of wood. Okay, now right here I'm rocking one, two, uh, two and a half chests full of wood and a bunch of core wood. That might not be enough. I'm not too sure. I actually don't really know. I just filled up a bunch of chests, all right? Next step you're going to want to do is you're going to flatten out a nice big circular area here. And if you're wondering if it's big enough, well, you'll know after the next step. All right, the next step, grab a bunch of wood, fill up your inventory as much as you can hold. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create that the first internal ring, and this will basically determine the rest of the side. Grab your, um, your, your wood beam two meters here. And start off on one side of the thing, trying to figure out where your center is. I put I put those roughly in the center. So we're going to say, I'm guessing here, right there. All right? So that's where we're going to start off this thing. Now, what you want to do is you want to make a ring around that thing by, by rotating these just one notch and placing them. Forget I said that. All right? I lied. What you want to do is you want to double this up. Okay? Because the portals themselves are too wide. You want to double it up. Go two, two out and then rotate it one and then two. And then rotate it two, and continue doing this until you make an entire ring around this area. All right. Once you have that ring complete, just like this, you're gonna want to take the same two uh, two meter uh, beams here, the two yeah wood beam two meters, and you're gonna want to go out in all directions off of each one of these things. In fact, to uh, just to save you guys some time, you're actually going to want to go out two in all, all directions uh, with these things. So you're going to out one, out two, just like that. All right, you should have this big, like, sun design right here. You have a big circle with the rays coming off of it like that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to stick with the two meters. What you're doing is you're laying the foundation for this whole place. All right? You're going to want to um, put the, or snap these on the end like so, but rotate them one like that. So you see how I did that with the putting them like this and then I rotated it and then I put it on this one. You're going to want to do that on all these edges like a so. And continue that all the way around. Quick side note right here. If you have these areas right here that uh, are hanging off of a uh, land and floating out there, you might notice that the structural integrity of it is starting to get a little weak. Either uh, slap down some support beams underneath it or you can uh, you can build the land up with using a hoe, but that'll that'll strengthen your building up. All right, once you have that T shapes on all of those, there, go ahead and switch to the one meter wood beam. What you're going to do is not do that. You're going to want to link these on the ends of each piece to kind of connect the circle completely. Fill in these gaps and then move on to the next step. All right, once you have that completely finished, you got this big ring, basically. This is the foundation for your entire build. All right, you're going to want to switch on over to the um, the core wood, and you're going to want to take these guys and grab the long pole four meter here. Oh, I'm overburdened. I'm overweight. Ugh. Ugh, hold on one second. All right, you're going to want to take the long pole four meters here, and you're going to want to attach them on the end of each one of these, uh, each one of the T's that you made earlier. Oh, not right there easy to misclick go ahead and attach them on each and every one of these things all the way around the circle okay now this next step is going to be a little tricky all right what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to want to take the uh slanted uh 20 or uh, 45 degree wood beams here <clears throat> and starting from each one of these pillars here you're going to want to place one out now you can go around and do that on each and every one of them but this is the design you're going to you're going to follow you're going to want to have that go up and then you're going to want to have it turn in just a little bit like that so it's a little crooked and you're going to want to do that going the opposite way as well like that and then turn it in like so and you're going to continue that uh every like half a block so like right here you're going to do it as well and then it's going to crisscross you don't have to turn it though right here because it's just a flat edge basically what you're doing is you're following the edge uh circle right here so when it bends right here, you try to bend it in as close to as possible as you can, in the closest spot as possible. So you're going to continue this pattern by putting one also right here. And then right here, you don't need to actually do, uh, you don't need to bend it. So that's the design you're going to follow throughout this whole thing. So 
when you're, you can also start just from the center right here if, you, if it makes it easier to understand. But I usually like to start from these poles. So this one, like I said, is going to be a little tricky. But basically, if you start from the base of each pole and you put the first piece down, turn it in slightly, place the second piece. Then you, you turn it completely around and do this side, just like that. And then this piece right here, you turn it in slightly, just like that. And then this one right here is already kind of the same angle, so you just add to it right there. Now, it's going to try to snap in a whole bunch of different spots, so this might not be exactly perfect when you do this the first time, and that's okay. The best part about this Valheim thing is that these rough-looking buildings actually look pretty cool on their own, like they're, the style that they are, so don't don't bug yourself too much about making sure it's in the exact perfect placement, because this wall is going to be pretty big, and you can see how it's, just, how it's shaping up right there. It's going to be pretty big, and there's going to be a lot of repeating patterns in it. So it's okay. Oh, that's not right. It's okay if it's not perfect. It does have to be pretty close. <laughs> so yeah, keep repeating this uh, this pattern um, until turn it in until uh, you get all the way around the um, all the way around the building. Okay, so this is gonna take a lot of wood. All right, keep repeating that pattern. Once you have that finished, you should have something that looks a little bit like this, where it's a completely enclosed circle around you with like a big crisscrossing fence kind of pattern going on it. All right, so then the next step is grab your hammer, grab your two meter uh, wood beams again. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put those like a T on top of each and every single one of these things. Now getting them to place where you want them is just impossible, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna place one off to the side like that, and then you're gonna want to do that. Get it to overlap right how it is there, place it like that. Go back, delete this first one, all right? So that, that's what you gotta do on all of them so that you can then connect the beam all the way across so here's what you do to connect i'll show you one section here so once you get that in place turn it how, how you want it place it like that and then you should be able to put it right on top of it like there delete that first one all right so once you have them like that the way you, you close in this gap right here is you continue these things oops you continue them straight outward like so Ooh, I misplaced this first one. Uh, and then they should connect to each other. Like that. So you have to do that on all of these here to get, give you give yourself a circular design. And what it's actually doing is it's effectively matching this one down here where we used a full piece, piece right here and then a half block or a ha like a one meter uh, uh, wood beam right here. It's doing the same thing on top here, except for here's your one meter right here. It's a two meter one going one meter off to either side, and then it's a full one in the middle. Uh, I guess you probably could do that on the bottom too. I don't really see why you wouldn't be able to. But you want, you're going to want to continue this then all the way out. So once you get this one over where you need to be, place one on the side, and then get it to overlap like so. Delete that first one. Continue across. All right, so you're going to want to do that all the way around here lots of wood used if you're absolutely having difficulty getting that thing to line up on top of there just do what i did right here where you have just the the two meter beam going off to the side either way and then finish it up with the one meter beam similar to what we did down here in fact identical to what we did down here it also works it's the same thing all right now that that's done and it's all finished now might be a really good time to start to pick out where you want your entrance to be uh, because you can place this anywhere, and any one of these sections can be your entrance. So it's really up to you. Right now, this part uh, up to here doesn't really matter as far as where your entrance is. So if you've been following along wondering where you're going to put your entrance, it's anywhere you'd like. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pick here. How about? I'll make my entrance right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove some of these areas to actually make way for the entrance. Just like so. Alright, so there. That's going to be my entrance. Ooh, I missed one right there. That'll be my entrance. Now, you can jazz that up in a little bit. It doesn't actually, I suppose you can do a little work right now. Um, all you gotta do is make this thing look pretty. So it's kind of up to you as to how to do that. I like to get a little creative with some of these sl more slanted pieces here. Um, now you start from up here. Is, is this gonna work? I can get it to lock. Anyway, I'll let you guys dial your, uh, dial up your entrance however you see fit. For me, I did it something like this. Actually, there we go, I finally got it turn it so it fits with the bend and then I connected it all the way straight through to the other side let's do that on this side as well there you go okay so that's gonna be my entrance that's all I need to do to it to make it look uh, like how I want it to 
later on we'll address the entranceway also for when this is finished but for right now we're just marking it out all right so now it's time to add some of the roof okay so go ahead and grab your uh 26 degree thatch roof here what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to start on each one of these t-shaped things with the with the core supports on them and you're gonna start slapping those things down going over every single one and fitting them in there now when the when the side of the 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 uh, circle here on the top turns you turn with it so that's how you make the circular looking roof it's something like this now these things can kind of fit all over the place like you can nudge them over a little bit like this and stuff so you're gonna want to try to fill in as much as you can like if it do doesn't match up perfectly remember that's okay that's the beauty of this game is that if it doesn't look a hundred percent right it ends up looking amazing anyway so what you want to do is you want to continue this uh this pattern with the roof uh all the way around the circle here until you actually get this completely overhanging. Once you have that entire row finished, what you're going to want to do is double it up. All right, you're going to want to make it come out even farther. So go one more row on top of it all the way around. This one you can eyeball up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, remember. It's a thatch roof. So thatch roofs can be a little sloppy. They can double up a little bit here or there. It's not that big of a deal if you have a little bit of overhang on some things. All right, once you got the second row on there with the second row of, uh, of the thatch roofing right there, you want to go go, uh, go ahead and grab your core wood again because you're going to want that. Uh, try to relieve some weight for me, actually, if you, if you need to, just like me. And then what you're going to do is you want to take, not the not the cultivator, you're going to want to take the, the four meter poles again, and you're going to want to position them uh, not on these tees like this, but right here instead, right on the joints right in between. Uh, you're gonna want to do that all the way around. Obviously not right here because this is the entrance way, but, but everywhere but there, you're gonna want to do that. All right, so all the way around here on each one of these spots where the where the uh, the wood beams kind of bend, you're gonna ooh, not that either. You're gonna want to position one right there. Do that all the way around. All right, once you have those all in place, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. All right, remember, not on these support beams here, but in between them right there. It's going to be important because later on when you go to try to make portals, uh, they're going to go right here. And they have to sit flush, like if they want to look all nice and pretty, because if you try to put them in these openings, let's just say this wasn't here, you can't really get them at that angle exactly right. So, But right here you can. So that's why we, we want to position them right there. All right, so let's put that back. Now, the next step you're going to want to do is you take your long poles, uh, two meters. You're going to need more core wood for this. Uh, and you're going to want to position them on top of all of the poles you put down that it, so that they reach up and touch the ceiling like so. This will add stability to the roof. You can see it all turning green right there and actually staying green or yellow for the most part. But it actually adds a lot more stability to the roof. Okay, once you have those beams put in place, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this horizontal long beam. Uh, more core wood is going to take. Uh, the four meter one is what you're going to want here and you're going to want to connect all of these places together uh on one of these beams here now they kind of lock at different locations it's kind of your choice it doesn't really matter which one it is i'm going to go with this one for the rest of the build here the the lower one and you're going to want to rotate it one as you go around and you're going to want to go around the entire build like this as well more circular design now right here you're going to notice something kind of interesting there isn't actually anything it connects to, and that's because this is the entranceway. Over that part, you're going to want to take this two meter long pole made out of core wood, and you're going to smack that bad boy right in the top, just like that. That way you get the continued circular pattern all the way around, and it leaves this one open for you to make your entranceway. All right, continue with the long poles, the four meter ones, all the way around here until you connect over or connect up the entire uh, ring. All right, once you have all of those in place, and you've got the supports in the center here now basically complete. You're going to want to go back to the thatch roofing. So you're going to need some regular wood. And you're just take, going to take the 26 degree thatch roof. And you're going to want to angle it this time downward. Okay, so you're not going to be going up. You're going to be angling it, rotate around so it's going down. And you're going to want to line the entire top portion of this with that now. So do that all the way around here. All right, there it is. The roof is done. All right, so you're basically done. You're basically done with the structure of the building now. Now it's all about adding the floors in here, where, however you want them. But for me, what I did was I went in here and I removed one of these guys. 
uh, completely so that this was open like this. Now, I kept that there for a couple of reasons. One, when I first built the, uh, the place, I couldn't actually remove it. I don't know if it was a glitch or what, but I couldn't actually remove it. But what you want to do is you want to place floorboards to either side of it, and you're going to place four of these floorboards. These are the, uh, these are the two by two floors. Uh, in here just like this and then you're gonna go to the next area over and you're gonna do the same thing remove that one And just place these in here like so you're gonna want to do this to every single one of these places Except of course for the entrance way in fact for the entrance way What you can go ahead and do is just remove these things completely because you're gonna want to be able to get through here Now as far as what you do to make this work Like if you have something like what I have here where there's a slope or whatever It's entirely up to you. You can use stairs. You can terraform. You can have a massive leg spike You can do whatever you want right there But just just get this kind of however you'd like to see it done. You can even add like a little uh, Entrance way kind of thing here like a little roof on it as well if you would like it's entirely up to you But for for this tutorial, I'm going to just show you what I did on the Valheim online server All right, so go back here and keep putting in all of your floorboards like this, four of them at a time here, just like that, in each one of these, uh, each one of these open areas here. This is where your portals are gonna go. All right, once you have those all in place, the floors are all finished. All you gotta do is actually head over to wh where your entranceway is here. And for this part, I actually threw down a couple of them right next to this, uh, to the entrance, because uh, this is gonna be a good spot to put like your workbenches. Or things like that. Uh, speaking of, we can actually make a little spot for those. I, I tried putting up like little fences, uh, similar to like this at the entrance way. Helped out a lot, actually, make the thing look kind of nice and nice and unique. And then you connect it over with the uh, with the wood beams, the two meter wood beams. Now, in the back part right here, this is where things are going to get a little bit of fun, because I mean, you could leave it open like this. There's no harm against it, you know. But what I ended up doing, just because I, I kind of liked it, was I ended up taking these. Uh, these uh, 45 degree uh, wood beams and positioning them like so and then what you do is you rotate it one and if you can get it to lock in there that's the trick get it to lock in like that and like so I did that all the way between each and every one of these cells okay I thought that that looked kind of cool it looked kind of like it was some supports holding up the building and so I did I put it in here so just like this in here you jump across Rotate it one, struggle to get it to lock in place, there you go, and then uh, snap it in place like that. Continue on over here, and just keep doing this all the way around. I'm telling you, this is using a lot of wood. I'm actually running out from what I started with. I'm starting to run out. Um, so do this all the way around the thing. How much wood do I have actually left over? Not much, okay? There's not much left in here. Um, yep, finish this design, these supports, all the way around between each one of these cells. All right, once you have that all done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to want to make your life a lot easier because right here, these little, uh, this lip right here is a nightmare to walk over. You can't walk over it. You have to jump over every single time, and it's no fun. So what you're going to do is you're going to just straight up remove those. Now, you could kind of sort of still get stuck right there, which is really annoying. You still have to jump over into what it is. So quality of life things right here. What you're going to do is you're going to want to attach uh, stairs to each and every one of these faces like this. And you're going to want to do that probably before you remove these. I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference, but um, you're going to want to attach stairs right to the front of each and every single one of these faces, and then you're going to want to remove the boards above them like that. And that way, when you come through here, you can just walk right up on this. So that there's no issues walking into the portals. You can just get in there no problem. So go ahead and do that on all of these, and then I will be back with you guys when you and I are both done with that. Okay, once you got the stairs, I'll put in. Just like this, that way you can walk right up on each and every single one of them. You're basically done. Now, the last little things you can do to really make this place work a little bit easier, so you can go ahead and add the same stair kind of designs that you did uh, here as well, because right here works for an excellent spot to put like a workbench, just like that. That way you can still uh, adjust and work on things here, and you can take all this stuff down. Now, I did end up using like all of the wood. Uh, I went and collected a little bit more actually, so just to keep in mind. Uh, that's how much you're gonna have to uh, farm up. I only have this little bit left right here uh, Just to do this build uh, Also on this side you want to do the same thing uh, Throw down the stairs here And I have to do that up my entrance way a lot here because this isn't gonna work I'll, I have to terraform this a little bit. So don't worry about that This is an excellent spot to put a forge also, but whatever you do when this is all said and done Make sure you put like a gate or something in here because um those graylings and gray dwarfs and stuff like that like to roam around and they like to break the stuff now you can actually place the gates in like this and then uh, rotate them to kind of fit correctly 
like so. And then it's up to you to kind of do that up this part the way you want it, way you want it, so that because like right there that doesn't look too bad. But you can you can jazz this up however you want. But make sure that you have some kind of gate blocking off how to get in here so that the great orbs and graylings don't get in here and wreck all your stuff and your portals and stuff. Now, speaking of portals, it's time to actually start placing some of these things. All right, so you're going to want to get enough materials to make a portal, which I got in my inventory right now. And what you're going to want to do is you want to take a spot for your portal and you're going to want to position it down just like that. Then you want to name it however you want. Now, what I usually do is I position them far enough off this back block right here, right there, that thing. But I want to position them far enough forward so that these spikes on the edge aren't like sticking into the um, into the supports here, these diagonal supports. Because I think that looks really weird. But you're going to want to eyeball it and center it up the best you can. And you can rotate the the, um, the portals to be wherever they want. In fact, let's go grab one. The temporary one that I put over here, let's go grab that one and actually uh, put that in place uh, over here so I can connect back to my main build, actually. All right, so we're right here next to the Grimer portal. It's a temporary one. We're going to destroy that one, take that away. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to put this in place. All right, we're throwing this one down for sure. Let's go ahead and slap that bad boy down right about there. And uh, let's name uh, let's name one of these portals here. Oh, did it, did it maintain the tag? Where did this one go? Connected. Oh, they're both named nothing. <laughs> I forgot. They're two unnamed portals. They link to each other. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to name it Grimer. Now, that one should deactivate. Yep, unconnected. <laughs> They were both named uh, unconnected, so that's why they linked up to each other. So yeah, that this one should lead back to my main base now. So that's how you build the portal hub, people. That's that's basically it. Let's go take a peek and see if this actually linked up correctly. Yes, it did. Awesome. I'm here in my blacksmith here in my at my town. All right, so that basically wraps up the tutorial. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button. Helps me out a ton. And leave a comment down below if you're building this in your world. I want to know. Check it out. It's all done. Now you can decorate this place up however you want. You can put torches in here. You can put banners in here. You can do whatever you'd like. I know on uh, on Valheim Online, I put in banners on mine. Just to kind of let them hang from the from the, uh, the top part of the ceilings here and stuff like that. Made it look really awesome. But it's all entirely up to you, actually, as to what you do. But go ahead and put in as many portals as you want here. It's, there's room for one, two, three... There's room for 14 portals in here, and you can also build a second floor on this thing if you really wanted to, and then add some stairs or something like that in the middle to get up to it. It's entirely possible to do that. The wood supports should be able to hold you up at least two stories. So, uh, And then you just do the thatch roof on top of that one, similar to how you did it down here. So it's entirely up to you. This thing is kind of uh, flexible. But this is how I built it on uh, Valheim Online, so hopefully you guys uh, like this one. So thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.